Today, we're going to crush or squish some candy to compare to our super soft silicon so we can get a feel for just how soft this material that we're working with really is. Typically, researchers who study cells use materials that are many, many times stiffer than cells. So studying how cells generate force and deform structures is a very difficult thing to do. Hopefully in the future, this material and this fabrication process will study the spread of cancer throughout the body or the differentiation of stem cells into mature cells like muscle or bone cells. We were fortunate enough to find a really, really soft rubber material that the cells would be able to squeeze and deform on their own. But the problem was the material itself was so soft that it made molding the material in the types of shapes that we wanted extremely difficult. These candies, which are already pretty soft, should be about 10 to 100 times stiffer than the silicone. Yeah. So the material that we're working with in the lab is really, really soft. We're trying to measure the forces and movement of just a few cells. We could not get nice structures using conventional methods. We can mold the material, but when we try to remove the silicone from the mold, then the structures would tear and rip uh, and not hold its shape. And so what we had to do was to come up with the mold that we didn't have to tear away, but would just dissolve away. Two parts, store-bought granulated sugar with one part store-bought light corn syrup and mix it all together. Put the entire thing in the microwave. The molecules in the sugar rearrange so that when it cools back down, the sugar is hard and then useful as a mold for the super soft silicon. We've let them cool down so that the sugar is nice and solid. So I'm just gonna really gently peel off and be careful not to crack the sugar. Now that we have our hardened candy mold, we're gonna pour our soft silicon polymer. We only have a short amount of time to cast our mold. We're gonna put the whole thing into the oven for about six hours or so, and that's gonna cause the pre-polymer here to harden. We'll start with fresh water and that'll just get the sugar to dissolve a little more quickly. Yeah, so this is the sugar part and then this is super soft polymer with some black false color that I've added to make it easier to see. Sugar is uh, relatively inexpensive. It's uh, non-toxic and candy, if we put it in water, it will dissolve away. We have a lot of diseases that we want to look at uh, using this method. It's definitely the best smelling research I haven't actually tasted it, but it's probably the best tasting as well. They feel bad that they're having to prick the fingers of their kids four or five times a day. <laughs> On average, you have about one teaspoon of glucose in your entire body. Put that into perspective. Try to measure 